Okay, so we've talked about how power iteration works. Now let's prove that it works. So let's say we've got a square matrix. It has real eigenvalues such that lambda 1 is the largest one, strictly bigger than any of the others. The others, there might be some equalities in there. No big deal. Then the big assumption here is that the eigenvectors of A have to span all of Rm. We have to have a basis of eigenvectors. Now, that's a common occurrence. It's very common that you manage to actually get a basis of eigenvectors. And in fact, if your eigenvectors are all distinct, that'll always happen. However, certainly when you've got repeated eigenvectors, there are cases where you cannot create a basis of eigenvectors like that. Okay. The other thing in here, for almost every initial vector, and we'll talk about that here, but for almost every initial vector, it's going to converge linearly to an eigenvector that's associated with that dominant eigenvalue. Okay, so to prove this, let's let x0 be the initial guess. Now, because we've got these eigenvectors that span, that must mean that x0 is equal to some constant times the first eigenvector, the one associated with lambda 1, plus some constant times the second one, all the way up to cm times vm. So, what happens when I take a times x0? Well, that's going to give me C1 times A times V1 plus C2 times A times V2 all the way up to Cm times A times Vm. But since these were the eigenvectors, multiplying by the matrix is the same thing as multiplying by the eigenvalue. So we get C1 lambda 1 V1 plus C2 lambda 2 V2 cm, lambda m, vm. So far, so good. Now, we can see, though, that if I take a to the k, x0, the only thing that's going to do is going to raise each of those eigenvalues to the k power. Now, we know that in the power iteration process, we normalize the vector. So that means that really it doesn't matter what kind of a constant I divide this thing by, I'm getting the same kind of convergence in the whole process. So let's divide everything by lambda 1 to the k. We know lambda 1 can't be 0 because it's strictly bigger than the other eigenvalues. So Okay, so what that's going to do is that each of those, since I'm dividing everything by lambda 1 to the k, I'm just going to write as lambda 2 over lambda 1 to the k. Now here's where the almost every initial guess comes in. As long as c1 is not 0, as long as there's some component of this initial guess that includes v1, then what's going to happen is k gets bigger and bigger. Well, our assumption was that all of the other eigenvalues were smaller than lambda 1. 
So each of these things here, and again, there'll be ones for all the intermediate terms as well, all those things have to be between 0 and 1. So when I start taking them to higher and higher powers, all these things have to be going to 0. Actually, I should be a little careful here. The absolute values are smaller, so this thing has to be between negative 1 and 1. doesn't change what I set, though. These all have to go to 0. And so, as long as C1 is not equal to 0, we're converging to C1V1. Again, we're normalizing it, so we're actually converging to that thing divided by the norm of that thing. But the whole idea is that we're converging to this kind of thing. Now, it's also worth noting that I did say that it converges linearly. I'm not going to go too much into that, but in order to converge linearly, all we need to know is that C2 is not 0 as well. If C2 is not 0, then this thing converges linearly, and in fact, the reciprocal of this is kind of the rate at which it is converging. So there we go. This power iteration works as long as we have this dominant eigenvector, eigenvalue. We have to have one eigenvalue whose absolute value is bigger than all the others. And we've got a basis of eigenvectors. Under those two conditions, this process will always converge toward an eigenvector for that dominant eigenvalue. However, we still have a problem. This only gets me that largest eigenvalue. How can we possibly find the others? And we'll start getting into that in the next video.